Hello, welcome back to my favorite RPG, Knights of the Old Republic. Do you think I'm sick? I'm not. Are you? I don't care, I didn't ask, I was just joking. Ryan, is this... yes, Sh Shalina, we're not talking to you anymore. But, Outcast Healer, that's very appropriate, I was about to say, I'm gonna beeline for something to make it very appropriate and very uh, connected to referential maybe, eh, whichever to of the real world so let's go let's go see what's going on in here do we gonna need a save i'm gonna make one anyway outcast healer tell me wait up welder you can't go through this gate there is too much danger and suffering beyond for your own sake turn back who are you i am isala healer of this village i use my knowledge and what little resources we have to care for the outcasts who are sick or injured but despite my medical training, there is nothing I can do to help the poor souls locked on the other side of this gate. What are you talking about? The villagers infected with the Rukgul disease are quarantined beyond this gate. It's only a matter of time until they transform into horrible creatures that would destroy us all. So you just lock them away in a cage? For the sake of the village, we have to keep the infected ones locked away. And when they finally do transform into Rukguls, we'll let them destroy each other. Are you finding any parallels right now uh, connected to this situation? They quarantine off people who are infected. Like the only problem with this is that you might be quarantined, well, just like in the real world or the world outside of the video game, the computer game. Um, the only thing, the only problem is that you might be quarantining healthy people with unhealthy people. Um, if you can um, diagnose whether they're, they're infected or not, reliably and quickly you can separate the infected from the non-infected and then uh, even though it might be drastic because uh, since there is no cure for rakul disease and it is a lethal disease uh, it's best to keep those people away and well death or worse as they say is going it await awaits them after all after being infected anyway so there is a cure or a vaccine that Sith patrols get that we would we would be supposed to get for either uh, Jax I think or the other hut to get a reward uh, and the quest is given by Gurney up in the clinic with the black guy that we're not interested in or we could give that cure to that black guy who, who uh, manages the clinic who owns the clinic and runs it we're not doing either of it so yeah, this is it. There's the disease. It's like with zombies, really, very much. Ghouls, zombies, pretty much all the same thing. Mm. You can't cure zombieism so far, especially in The Walking Dead, which I wish I was playing right now. It, I wish, I wish there was a reason for me to play it. But uh, yeah, zombies. If if someone is infected with zombie, with zombie or with ghoul. Uh, you just keep them away, and that's a smart thing to do, because otherwise they'll infect others. The problem is, if the <laughs> if the disease is mild, and you're not that good at detecting it, then you might be infecting others. But this is pretty clear-cut, actually. So, is there something that I could do? I'm not gonna help anyone. Um, I'm going through these gate, uh, gates and try to help the infected ones. What do you like? I don't know. Uh, no. Not that one either. I'm not gonna help anyone whether I'm gonna be polite about it or um, very, I don't know, stubborn about it. Do I want to ask more questions? I want to ask you some questions. If you have questions, you should speak to Gendar. He's the leader of this village. All my attention has to stay focused on trying to ease the suffering of those within the village. But despite my medical training, there is nothing I can do to help the poor souls locked on the other side of this gate. Also strange how you're a hobo, but you've got a medical training. Uh, you could say that she's been sent down into exile um, after being a trained medical uh, professional personnel. Um, instead of being born in slavery on, or on the exile, but that's not clear and we're, we don't want to really well ask. If I say I need healing, she'll heal us for free, so that's pretty cool. But s for now, so far, goodbye. Farewell. Yes. Don't get bitten by Ragu, although um, in-game 
the game mechanics say that you don't really need to worry. It's just a flavor text and a bunch of uh, different enemies. More melee oriented. Is that the regular gate? Alright, we're breaking the quarantine because we're assholes right that, like that and we're gonna be able to um, contain it either way with Blastifier of course. So let's. Hello you fucking diseased Oh, speak of the devil. No! Funny how disease can make you turn into a ghoul so rapidly. A monster, essentially. So rapidly. Um, so drastically. And with a flash of light and particle effects. They'll be like, back in the day, remember? It was, what was it? An Ebola. And I was playing Dark Sector. And I feel stronger every day. Maybe I'll find that picture again. If I have, it's already on the screen. In the meantime, we're gonna bust those knuckleheads up a little bit, cause that's experience and I opened the gate just to fuck everyone up. Yes. Oh yeah, well, I must have been wrong. It's not that it, well, it's still true that it doesn't turn you into a ghoul, but it does inflict poison on you. And poison, poison chips your health away, slowly but surely. And if you won't fix it, you'll be well dead. What about those two? We'll worry about it in a moment, right after I'll get myself fixed with the medic. Here, right here. Look. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. Else you need? Nah. I'm clenching my uh, side. I just beat up those fucking monsters that uh, turn from humans that you were quarantining off but no everything is under, is under control bitch i need healing and there we go full health that's what i like to see <laughs> you could say there's definitely some people that would like to see that on earth right now which is almost um april what about you do i get to blast you up please please you have to help us we beg no. you we don't want to end up like the others please help us we can't end up like them yes i'm here to help you well so what would you like me to do i can either shoot you or leave you to your own devices um who are you why are you locked away she's probably infected so and we're not really interested that's their business and then in the end you'll see why if in just in case you don't know uh Get away from me, you diseased mongrels! Go then, upworlder. Leave us here to die, abandoned by everyone. Well, you shouldn't have gotten bitten by. Why have you come back, upworld? A monster. Do you come to mock us in our suffering as this disease destroys us? Um, we could go ahead and just be an asshole, a uh, be chaotic evil. I think I'll just kill you so you don't affect anyone else. It's sort of smart, you know, because then, you know, it's strange, right? How humans don't really eat each other. They don't hunt each other for meat. Not really. And no other animal hunt each hunt within their own uh, species for meat. Not really. Um, so, yeah, I won't just kill you. And weird how the raggles would have, wouldn't, wouldn't have really attacked themselves. So how do you really dispose of rag ghouls? Maybe, maybe eventually ha when the rag ghouls are uh, hungry enough, they'll turn onto each other. But then in the end, well, in the end one is left. So the strongest, <laughs> the strongest one survives. And then we just uh, starve it to death, I guess. Good enough. Who cares then? So yeah, get away from me, you disease mongols. I was hoping for a different line of dialogue, something new, something different from the woman, but also just turning away from her and towards him uh, is taken as already returning later on to check out this whole shit and shithole. Yeah. So there's that. A disease. Huh. What a thought. Not only that, not only that, but we'll face more of those monsters later on. And, um, I'm sure I'll have to get those things, but we'll have time, it's fine. So, 
Our jeweler should say that uh, in the in the Undercity, there is the crushed pod, the escape pod from Endospire. But we'll see, and we should be looking for some clues where it could be found. And obviously, it will be on the outside, but it wouldn't hurt if if you would be looking for the way. Do you know the way? What's this? A number of infected outcasts have already transferred into Raggles. Oh well, it's too late for them. But there are others who could be saved if someone were to administer the Raggle serum to counteract their disease. If only there was someone like that, caring and putting their life on the line. And also not for profit, and maybe not even for the experience to level up their soldier class or hobo status. If only it wasn't just you trying to save the world one person at a time. We need more holistic solutions. A final solution, you would say. Search for Bastalam. Yeah, uh, with Black Vulcan. Oh, right. Oh, oh, why? so why the fuck? Oh, yeah, okay. So, we don't need to look for Bastalam in the Undercity. Nor the pod. We need to look for Mission Veo to get up into Black Vocal Base, Volcar, 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 uh, uh, Base to um, save her, to save her. So, hey you, you seem to be an important dude around here. Have you seen a 15 year old Twi'lek and a massive Wookiee? I find it strange that so many of you have come down from the surface recently. No offense, but... I can see why people normally avoid this place. Why have you come into this dark and sunless place? Is there something you need of me or my village? I will help you however I can. And no offense, but this is a fucking dump, you fucking hobos. No offense though. It's filth, man. I don't know. Brush up the dirt, you filthy beggar. No offense though. I love it. I love when people preface with no offense and they just absolutely mean offenses. Um do you do we care no other upworlders that's interesting you said something about other upworlders who came by here recently our village has seen many visitors from the surface recently armored troops swoop gang members mercenaries they come to search our sunless world they're even searching the sewers hmm how can i get into the sewers there are two entrances into the sewers from the undercity one to the northeast of our village, the other to the southeast. But the sewers are dangerous, Upworlder. If you yeah, funny way of spelling it. Tunnels, you would be wise to go heavily armed, unless you wish to become a meal for the rock ghouls and the other foul creatures. Sure thing. Do I want to ask for more questions? Yes, I want to ask about Mission Veo. Vale. Oh, look at me. Look how well lit I am for once. God damn it. Ask your questions, Upworlder. It's a deep, dark, dank, outcast, underworld, slum, hobo land. And it's the best lighting we've ever had. We've had so far. Even, even, at, even at the highest end apartment, apartmentus? What am I saying? Uh, skyscrapers during the daylight and in well-lit apartments. I'm looking for a Twi'lek named Mission Veo. Yes, I have seen this Twi'lek many times, though I've never spoken to her. She and her Wookiee companion often pass through our village on their way to explore the sewers. <sighs> they treat us even worse than everyone else. Everyone else just insults us, um, throws stones at us, shoots us, and tries to keep us away. But they, they just ignore us. They walk through our our homes like it's theirs not paying attention to us at all ignoring us treating us like air like we're invinc invisible don't mistake that they're very they're very invincible <laughs> they're very invincible but like we're invin invisible shit I, almost, I did it again um yeah well she goes through here often great i think i'll be going now as you wish upworld should you have need of anything else, come speak to me. I represent the entire village and I will do my best to help you however I can. Also, he's black. That's racist. Um, 
Let's try to pretend like we're looking for information. Like, where is Mission Veo? Where could sh we find her? Hey, you, you. You come from the world above. Is this the time of destiny, then? Is this a portent of the salvation of my people? Or merely another false sign to mislead us from the path? Are you the herald of prophecy? The beacon to guide us through the darkness? Or are you merely another harbinger of shattered dreams and unfulfilled promises? Be careful. This one might be crazy enough to be dangerous. Speak to me, Upworlder. Tell me what fate you unleash upon us. Salvation or damnation? Speak, Upworlder. I beg you. My character doesn't know that yet. I know that. We'll get to it eventually. You probably know that too. But in case you don't, <laughs> that'll be a great surprise. I'm not gonna spoil that. Don't spoil it for yourself either. Um, uh, okay then, could I ask you some questions? A question? You are uncertain, bewildered, perplexed. Understandable, I suppose. Even after a hundred years of life, I myself still become confused at times. Perhaps I can make things more clear. Some things, at least. Let's go and see now. Rukul. It's not the that things are difficult. Here in the village. No, not all of them. Rukul, wrinkle skin the children call me sometimes. Uh, get to the point, old man. Once the I point is, I want to mind. ask you questions. And over time, the villagers fell away from the true path. Eventually, there was only a single apprentice who followed me. And now she is gone too. I was supposed to be asking questions here, not you, or uh, going in tirades. Um, I don't have time for this nonsense. Please, a moment, Upworlder. I must know if you are the one I have been waiting for. Please, I beg for your help. My apprentice is lost. I sent her out into the Undercity to find... Well, I cannot tell you. Not yet. Sadly, my apprentice has not returned. Please, Upworlder, will you help an old man? Will you seek out my apprentice in the Undercity? Her name is Malia. I must know of her fate, whatever it may be. I must know what she found. Listen, you old fart. I'm looking for a teenaged blue Twi'lek and a Wookiee. They're pretty distinct. Have you seen those? Do you know where to look for them? That's what I want to know from you, dumbass. What will you give me if I help you? Finding her may be difficult. Maria could be anywhere in the Undercity. We're not going to be doing this quest either. Her, I will know you to be our true savior. Only then can I reveal my secret knowledge to you. I don't care about your secret knowledge. I just want of the regular knowledge. It's just that you might... Well, it's just that you might have it as opposed to others. Um, I'm not going to waste my time looking for your apprentice. Then, perhaps you are not the one I have been waiting for. Should you change your mind, Upworlder, speak with me again. Come to me if you learn the phrase Notice the phrase apprentice. Upworlder. It's spelled differently than that other time I've mentioned that it's spelled funny. Yeah, that happens sometimes, but only sometimes. Oh. You could say it's the difference in pronunciation of words when some people say missiles and some others say missiles. Um, yeah, but they, I, I guess sometimes in speech you just spell things differently, right? Do you think Shalene would know something about this, all this? Well, Mission and Zalbar. Hey, Shalina. Hey, you looking not so old. Would you like to talk about uh, things? I could pick Hello you up again. and get you up. I'm glad you came and back. you could live on my floor. To to and I could feed you scraps. Is there anything I can do for you? And in return, you could, you know. I want to ask you some questions. You'd probably get more information from Gendar, the village leader. Or maybe Rukil, but I'll tell you whatever I can. Right. Well, I guess the only thing uh, relevant to me is, well, maybe two, three, and four. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Do you know anything about the escape pods that crashed into the Undercity? I don't know anything about that, but maybe Gendar could help you. 
Sorry. Is there anything else you need? Uh, have any other upworld just comes through here? Let's try it again, maybe. Have any other upworlders come through here recently? There were quite a few people from the surface marching through the village, but none of them bothered to talk to me. Gendar might know more about them. Mm, I'll be going now. Oh, okay. Well, if you ever need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. Right, we have this dialogue already. So let's try Gendar, but in the meantime, in the meantime... The whole story of this village is, like I said, they're all exiled and the biggest shame and the biggest uh, punishment uh, you can get on Taris is to be kicked out of your house where, from the building where there's still sun shining down and be kicked down and live in here where there is real dirt and also dirt as in not cleanliness, cleanliness, cleanliness. Yeah. Uh, weird, right? But yeah, you can you can be exiled and have families here, and this tiny little village is all the prisoners the Taris have has. Maybe it's like uh, separate prisons uh, all over uh, countries. Surprised to see you again. Many or maybe even cities. Passed through our village recently, but few have bothered to speak with me or my people. Why have you come into this dark and sunless? You already asked. I've got some questions. Yes. Ask your questions, Upworlder. I will answer to the best of my knowledge, though I know little beyond the borders of the Undercity. Mm. Yeah, nothing here. As you I guess he doesn't really know about um, the crashed uh, pod. Nor does Rukio, since he doesn't want to talk to us unless we accept his quest. And we won't. So, fuck you, Rukio. We'll just wander around until we stumble across fucking plot. As usual, hey, it, we... Wow, that looked like there was a child in that hut. But I just saw things. Fortunately, Karth. Oh yeah, that's one big issue in the game. You could lead your party in in a certain... Well, certain... In a few nu nukes and crannies. And they'll block you from leaving. <laughs> You'll just have to... Sub so character you're controlling. Credits, I think. But it's still dumb, dumb. There's something slimy about this guy. I wouldn't trust Is it the voice? My name is it that he's black? I run a little salvage shop here. You want to buy something from my store? I got some good deals. I gear? How do you think that sounds? Jewish or Arabian? Either way, they'll fucking scam you out of your money either way. Either way. Um, do I really care? I want to ask you some questions. Oh, you better ask Gendar. He's the spokesman for the village. I just run the store. I don't want to make him mad by answering any questions. Gendar already doesn't like me. Yeah, I'm not gonna get into that. He doesn't like him because uh, he buys things. He runs a store. He buys things and stockpiles food. Hey, it's like it's quarantine all over again. What a coincidence. And um, Gender wants him to share for nothing instead of sell them like a shop. Because we're all prisoners here, but we've got our own shops. Yeah. Let me see your inventory. I want to know if you've got Pazak cards. And such, but the price is right. Maybe parts, but we're not going to be buying parts anyway. Um, good blasters. Good armor. Limited number of computer spikes, some grenades, implants, and very regular cars. Also scopes if you want to improve your shit. How expensive is that? 130. Why? Well, but the computer spikes are cheap. Cool. Maybe I'll buy some if I'll remember if I'll my, if I'll be able to buy from him again. Right. So that'll be the village for today as well. Because next thing is to just get through the gate and trigger another uh, cutscene or just a, a cinematic um, thing. But we'll leave that to the next episode because, you know, I need more free games, you need more free games, you need to experience more games. This is one way to do it. And another day, another day in quarantine. 
we will have more parallels to a current pandemic state. See you next time.